Each time you say this blessing prayer for your home and your family, first, invite God the Father and His power into your home. Invite Jesus and His love into your family. Invite the Holy Spirit and His wisdom into your heart and in your mind. So let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Bless My House Dear God, I thank you for this home. Thank you for the roof over our heads and the floor beneath our feet. I pray that you would come and protect this home against the attacks of the devil. Please protect us from any evil that tries to enter this home. Give us the strength to overcome temptation. I pray that we will leave no opportunity for the devil to enter. Instead, may our prayer fill this house with your holy presence. Dear God, I pray over this home and everyone who lives in it. Lord, please keep this home safe, both spiritually and physically. Please protect this house from all external and internal damage. Please protect the electricity which provides us with light and comfort. Please protect the plumbing which provides us with water and sanitation. Protect our dwellings from the flood, fire, wind, invasion and theft. Let our houses be safe places to restore what has been lost and welcome mats for those who need your love. May we live in this house safely for many years and decades. Please keep the members of this house safe from all injury and sickness. I pray that when trials come to this home, you will give us the strength to trust in you. May our will be done in our home. Dear God, I pray for your presence to fill every corner of this home. I thank you that you are always with us to love and care for us. I pray that we will be able to feel your love in our home. I pray that our home will be a place of rest and peace because of your presence. As you bless this house, Please grant this desire of my heart. At this moment, please ask for everything you need and believe in your heart that you will receive it. Write it in the comments with complete faith in God. Father God, I pray for a hedge of protection around our home and those who live in it. Thank you for the gift of my family and this house. Lord, keep evil far from this house and protect us from harm. Give us wisdom to know what to allow and disallow in our home. Protect our minds, bodies and souls. Fill us and our home with the power of your Holy Spirit. May we grow strong and mighty in you as we grow within this house. May those who enter this house know that you are present here. We praise you for blessing us with a place to live. Thank you for our bed where we can sleep safely. Thank you for rest, restoration and breath in our lungs. Thank you for the dining table where we can eat together as a family. Bless this house. May it be every day changed by your love. Keep our home safe. We ask for a legacy of love that drifts down into the furthest generations of our family and the family of all that walk through our door. No matter how big or small our house may be, please help us remember that our ultimate home is in heaven with you. It is with you, our Heavenly Father. It is with you, Lord Jesus, our Savior. It is with you, our Holy Spirit. I now offer this prayer to you 
to bless our house. Now we will say three Bible verses over our home and family so that we unleash the power of the Word of God into our household and everyone who lives there. First, Proverbs 24, verse 3 to 4. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Let us pray. Lord, worldly people seek money and material wealth, but your word says that instead of material wealth, I need wisdom to build my house. I need understanding to establish it, and I need knowledge to fill it with all precious and pleasant riches. Please bless me with these gifts that cannot be bought with money. Only you can bless me and my family with these precious gifts. Please look with mercy and bless me and all the people who live here with the gift of knowledge, understanding and wisdom. Help us to use these gifts for good and to do your holy will. Amen. Second Bible verse from Isaiah 32 verse 18. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for this beautiful verse from the Bible. Every day there are many robberies. There are people who break into other people's homes. Then there are people who come home just to cause trouble and disturbance. That is why I claim this Bible verse today, because I want to be a part of your people. I want to live in a peaceful dwelling. I want to live in a secured home and I want to rest in undisturbed places. Please consider me your people, Lord. Adopt me as one of your children. May this house be a home of prayer and peace. May my family be a circle of love and peace. Amen. Third and final Bible verse, 2 Chronicles 7 verses 15 to 16. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and consecrated this house so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will be there for all time. O Heavenly Father, I claim this promise of yours from the Bible. I believe that your eyes are now open and that your ears are attentive to my prayer. I believe that you have chosen and consecrated this house. I trust that your eyes and your heart, they'll be in this house and with my family for all time. Please keep my mouth, my heart and my mind clean so that as you live with us, we may show respect and love and mercy to you, to each other and to the world. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Finally, let us receive God into our house and our hearts. May God be with me to strengthen me, above me to protect me, before me to lead me, behind me to encourage me, within me to possess me totally. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon me, my family, and my home forever and ever. Amen. Friends, I invite you to say this blessing prayer over your house for at least the next seven days. Each day as you say it, feel the changes in your house and in your family. Share this prayer 
with someone who needs a blessing in their family. Subscribe to get inspiring prayers. Click on the bell button and select all. Thank you for watching and may God bless your house and your family.